Okay, the warm up question. Um, it tells us that Jesse has two different kinds of cards. He has football cards and he has baseball cards. So those are the two pieces of information I have. And I gotta figure out what they want me to do. They want me to simplify a ratio. Okay, and a ratio that we've been using, ratios are just fractions. Okay, and um, that have of baseball cards to football cards. So there are three different ways I can write this ratio. I could put baseball over football. Sometimes you'll see the ratio written with a colon in between it, baseball to football. Or without the colon in there, they just use the word two. So all three of these, when I stick the numbers in, they're gonna be the same numbers after I simplify. Um, the important one is which one goes on top of the fraction. The word two is your fraction bar. The one that the one to the left of the word two goes on top. The one to the right of the word two goes on the bottom of the fraction. So we are going to write our fraction, which is going to be baseball cards, which is 28, over football cards, which is 42. And then I want to simplify this, okay? I look at these and I see that they're both even, so a really easy simplification I can do is divide every single, both of the numbers by two, okay, because they're even. So if I take 28 divided by two, I get 14. If I take 42 divided by two, I get 21. Now I look at it and I ask myself, is there any number that goes into both 14 and 21? And hopefully the answer for all of you is yes, the number seven does. Yep, I'm seeing sevens on the screen. So I'm gonna divide every term by seven. And that's gonna give me two thirds. So the answer to the simplified ratio is two thirds or two to three. Now I could have done this in one step. If I would have recognized right off the bat that 14 goes into both 28 and 42, I could have just gone to two thirds in one step, okay? Um, if you're not comfortable going in one step, go ahead and um, use, you know, use multiple steps, you, you know, to come up with, a, with the simplified fractions. And again, I am in favor of fractions. I do not like just sticking the numbers into a calculator to get a decimal. That's why I recommend if you're gonna use a calculator, use Desmos so it can turn it back into a fraction for you to give you the answer that Mr. Taylor likes. I saw nothing typed into burning questions, so we're gonna just skip this wonderful slide. And now I need you guys to turn to page 53 of your iReady book. Look at pictures really quick. Yep. Okay. I stopped presenting for a second so I can look at your pictures. I'm seeing people run away to go get their book. I'm seeing people uh, having their books open. Okay, let's see if I can uh, mark these. This other person that showed up after we started. Um, I'm still looking for two. I don't see those two. Okay. Um, so everybody should have their books now. So I'm on page 53, and I'm, we're gonna. I'm gonna walk through this right now. And it says the table shows how many gallons. Please stop speaking. If you need anything, type it in chat. 
The table shows how many gallons of water. Do not speak. Type it in chat. Um, Do not speak. Type it in. Elena. Table shows how many.